Hey, thanks for pressing play on this video. Today I'm going to answer a question from one of the YouTube viewers, and the person is Chow Kok Chin. Please forgive me if I messed up your name. And Chow asks, How do you get the smoky jazz sound, and how do you doodle tongue? I have the privilege of having two really cool stories. Here's the first Once upon a time, I had the privilege of going to see Nicholas Payton live at the Jazz Showcase. And I noticed that Nicholas Payton was playing with a very clear, crisp trumpet sound. And then on the ballet, he would turn around and play with the smoky jazz sound, as you call it. And then he would flip back and forth between the two seamlessly at will. And so after the show, I asked him just the same question that you're asking me now. How did you get that airy sound? And he told me, I just do it. I left a little disappointed with that answer, but... I reflected upon it and then, I, and then I realized that's how we do most things, uh, especially when you're talking about speaking a language and we're speaking the language of music here. You listen, you imitate, and then you have it. You don't really think about the technical, how, how do I do it, but you listen and you imitate and then you finally get it eventually. And so watch this, imitate what I do. Say your ABCs, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Do it in a high voice like that. Now do it in a low voice like this, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now do it in a scratchy voice, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay? Now in each of those examples, you didn't think about how you were going to achieve the high pitch versus the low pitch or the scratchy pitch. You just did that, and you did it pretty good, okay? Now playing the smoky jazz sound is it's the same way. But I'll tell you something that I discovered over time, or I'll lead you in the right direction. Here's the thing you want to do. Um, I'm going to use this, this melody as an example. You want to lead with your air. Listen to this. You hear the air? It's just air. Gradually... Turn that into sound. There's that air. It's always there. That's how you get that smoky jazz sound you speak of. Now, the second part of your question was about doodle tonguing. Once upon a time, I had the privilege of playing music with Clark Terry, and he gave me a quick lesson, crash course in doodle tonguing. This is what he told me. Um, you want to you want to use the vowels, so A E I O U. Okay. Now, first of all, say the word doodle, doodle, doodle. That's where your tongue touches when you doodle tongue. Doodle, doodle. Pay attention to what your tongue is doing. Okay. Let's go through the vowels. A, okay. Okay. I got to practice that. O and then U. Ooh. Okay, so the U is for the low notes and the E is for the high notes, okay? And that's that's it. That's the concept of behind doodle tonguing. Now I don't use this technique, but um, that's what Clark Terry taught me. Here's an example. Okay, so that's all for today on this video. Thank you for the questions. If you have a question, leave it in the comments section and I will create a video just like this one to answer your question or I'll simply answer in the comments by typing. Also, if you would like to know what trumpet books that I recommend to help you on your journey, click the link in the description and share your email address and you'll get that download right away. That's all for today. Thanks for pressing play. God bless you.